just days away from Survivor Series. This Sunday, live only on the WWE Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Main Event. The following tag team Cut. match is... Cut. Shut it. Cut the music. Cut it now. You people don't deserve that music. Hush, morons! I said quiet, you idiots! I am actually disappointed in all of you. I gave you happiness, I gave you joy, I gave you party time all the time. And what did you do? You spat in my face! And if there's one person, one man who understands being unappreciated, it's this man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bradley Maddox! Yeah, surprise, but you thought you'd never see me again, you morons. Last time I was in this building, I was fired as the GM of Raw. Since then, I've dyed my hair blonde because, uh, I don't know, identity crisis. And uh, we, we dress in all black because we're a bunch of angry, pissed off emos. But you know what? At least our color isn't University of Tennessee puke orange. Very good dude, aren't they? Yeah. In a bit of a mood. and sisters in Paris, France following those horrific attacks, but the Usos, I'll tell you what, they never cease to be hyped up for a match, Tom. They bring the action, they bring the entertainment, and uh, that is exactly what seems to be uh, lacking from Adam Rose and Brad Maddox. They seem to be taking out all their frustrations, all their shortcomings on the WWE Universe. Uh, I am personally surprised that Brad Maddox isn't out here in a costume like a rabbit or a turkey or nah. whatever he wants to be this week. Let's see what you're doing there. He does have blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about puke orange. Uh, I was going to say it looks like something puked all over his head. I don't hear you say that. Did you know that he was fired in this building? I was unaware. That's a factor. Not to be inconsiderate, but I mean, it has been a little bit over a year since we've seen Brad Maddox officially in ring competition. Well, I, mean, I, I can understand, obviously. I mean, whenever you lose your job, it, well, you see some of the attitude there. Oh, whenever you lose your job, yeah, you're going to be a little angry and cover. Shoulders down here and a kick out. I think Maddox kind of feels like he has been forgotten about a little bit. And he's doing whatever he can to, to get talked about again. The tag to Jay, who's oh, off the top rope. I mean, not to be rude, but I mean, Brad Maddox may have been one of the worst general managers in Raw history. No, he wasn't one of the best. That's what I just said. Then again, there was my guy. <laughs> yeah, who can forget that one? Well, Brad Maddox did get the job from Mr. McMahon once upon a time, but, and uh, things just didn't go as yeah, well. Yeah, I get your point. I mean, Maddox is more of a figurehead for the authority, you know? Well, that's figurehead. A, a tough position to be in. Ooh! Corporate Kane, I would have called a figurehead. And Maddox more like a puppet. Oh, and there goes Maddox! Oh, watch out! Rose coming in from out of nowhere. And a rough landing. And the Usos double teaming him over the top rope. Oh, you know what's coming next, Tom. Huh? Hey, let's try this. When I say Oost, you say. No, not happening there. Aw, oh, man. Rose and Maddox doing the smart thing and getting out of the way. 
Tag team action continues here on the main event. Get it up there, let's go. Tag team action rolls on here on WWE Main Event. The Usos, two-time tag team champions in control of Adam Rose and Brad Maddox. Yeah, Jay Uso in there. Jay Uso's looked great. I mean, he was on the show for a good seven months after a, a shoulder injury, and Usos really picked up right where they left off. Sustaining that injury at WrestleMania, and they've been tied up in a variety of matchups with the, the New Day, the Dudley Boys. Who, you, in your mind, is actually taking control of the tag team division? Well, obviously, the tag team champions are. Right? I mean, as long as you have those tag team titles, which are held by the New Day, you control this division. Well, with got that, the momentum. With, with that said, I mean, you could say that the Usos really have a strong level of momentum because they are kind of fresh in the division right now. And they've looked unstoppable thus far. Ooh. has been in a move all night. Ooh. I think it's been beyond just tonight. On the WWE Universe, anxiously awaiting Survivor Series this Sunday as Jimmy makes the tag. Uh, we did learn earlier this week on, ooh, <laughs> on WWE.com. There will be a traditional Survivor Series elimination tag team match this Sunday. Of course. Well, what Survivor Series without that traditional elimination tag team match? Think of all the classic matches we've seen all over the years. Oh, oh. oh and look at Adam Rose come in. Tag team continuity there. Go back to 2005. Remember when it was Team Raw versus Team SmackDown? Look at Maddox. Look at Maddox flying Adam Rose off of the Uso there to get at his opponent. Maddox has lost it. <laughs> That's an understatement. Adam Rose is legal. Come get him. I think they both lost it to a certain extent. Yeah, Adam Rose kind of said it earlier when he came out here. They kind of both had this feeling of being unappreciated by the WWE Universe for what they've tried to accomplish in the past. Oh, and look at Adam Rose with a cheap shot. The referee was tending to Maddox. Hey, don't forget about it. This is a huge opportunity for Maddox and Rose. You get a win over the Usos, this puts you on the map in the tag team division. More people talking about you. This is a way to do it. All the talk in WWE, we know that at Survivor Series, celebrating 25 years of The Undertaker. And a little bit later on, we'll take you back to this past week on Raw. The uh, rivalry that's unfolded since Hell in a Cell between the Wyatt family and the Brothers of Destruction. Oh! 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 Uso saying, all right, you want to oh, dish it out, I can take it, and I can give you some too. I've known Adam Rose for a long time. Where's his head at lately? Uh, at, at its core, Adam Rose is just frustrated and unhappy. You know, he truly believed when he came out here, and you know, he was preaching about partying all the time exactly. at the Exotic Express. He really thought that he was going to get the WWE Universe behind him. He thought it was going to be a career renaissance for him, and it didn't turn out that way. And quite frankly, he's having a hard time handling it. There's the cover from Maddox and a kick out from Jimmy Uso. I think it all went downhill when we actually found out you got permission to be on the exotic no, I, I think you were just jealous that I got permission because you never get to come on board. Uh, no, I'm okay with that, but I mean, did, did the party die almost immediately? Did, did everybody leave? Like, was everybody like, oh my god, we're having such a good time? And then it was like, oh, Byron's here. That's an ugly rumor, Tom. Mm. A very ugly rumor. This guy! Brad Maddox has looked sharp in this matchup. He's got a lot on his mind, obviously. Telling us a little bit earlier on, this the building. He lost the film manager of Raw job. Oh, 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 that can't feel good. He's going to have something else on his mind now. Jimmy Uso's finally got an opening here. Brad Maddox has been all over him. Maddox trying to find his way to his corner. Jimmy trying to make it to Jay. Here comes Jay Uso. Hey, tearing through out of oh yeah. Oh, the Usos are having fun. I'm too fast. Samoan drop. Uh -oh. Look at Jay. Just like his Hall of Fame father, Rikishi. Jey Uso is dialed in. Cover here on Adam Rose. Hooked to the outside leg, and Maddox broke it up. Uh -oh. 
Oh, me. oh man! Did you hear that? Come on, I wasn't sure who he was before. He certainly doesn't now. No! Not even just Adam Rose. Can we say it's about to get worse for Adam Rose? That'd be a hell of a cliche. Going to the top rope here, Jimmy Uso, the legal man. Yet appropriate. Hashtag voice crack. You all right? Yeah, puberty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's take a look back at the uh, the action here tonight between Jimmy and Jay Uso taking on Brad Maddox and Adam Rose here. Uh, watch this. This is Jimmy Uso coming in. And, oh, great double team right there. Bam, right on the jaw of Adam Rose. Yeah, this is a statement opportunity for the Usos to remind this entire ooh, division that they are the team to beat. Watch this. Look at the hang time and the face. Jimmy Uso. So much elevation. And they do it with style, Tom. Oh, yeah. Go, Uso. Get crazy. It's your birthday. It's not their birthday. It's not their birthday at all. They had a good match, but it's no, not their it's birthday, Byron. Term, not, it's not literally their birthday. Oh, my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's yeah, a family reunion. Thank you for joining us tonight.